Yeah! It's interior tour time! What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got everything pretty much dialed in almost for the inside of the truck to kind of give you guys a kind of full tour of everything that's going on inside the truck. I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to get started. Here we go. Alright, check it out. We're starting out up front. Okay. 2021 Western Star 4900. Alright. This is what it looks like. Things that we did so far is we put a steely ball to the cell phone. Back of the iPhone. Bam. Got the GoPro uh, action camera up front there for the windshield view. Got a mask, you know, for the coof. Um, rosewood, cher I mean cherry wood, dash, steering wheel, full gauge package, full switch package. We've got um, a little USB deal running the wires behind. I gotta, I still have to tuck these in a little better. What I did was is I ran the wires behind the panel and up and out so that way all of it wouldn't be completely hanging out some of it's tucked in but I still need to do a better job and still you know but it's been it's it's better than just all hanging out okay same thing with the aux cord on my iPad I have it tucked in behind the little gasket here going up to the radio up here now yeah the, the radio that we just installed does have Bluetooth but I like my aux cord for some reason. I think the sound quality, the uh, the signal is a lot clearer. So since we're up here, we'll go over the new stereo we just had installed. We've got um, a Kenwood head unit with the Bluetooth, CD player, the whole, you know, the whole gambit. Uh, we also have our CB radio, Cobra 29 Chrome Edition installed. Um, I know you can tell something's missing here we're missing the trim piece the the guy forgot to put the trim piece on okay so yeah so I gotta wait till I get back home to get that emailed into the house uh, hopefully hopefully he mailed, hopefully found it but yeah we're missing a trim piece but it's no big deal I mean it is a big deal to me but it's really not a deal breaker but the uh, the Cobra 29 is peaked and tuned bigger diodes bigger finals um, it does a pretty damn good job Okay. Uh, over here we have our uh, Italian boxing gloves that my wife got me. We have the uh, Hot Rig Apparel sticker um, section. Come on, focus. There we go. Oh, the light. Come on. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We have the... Um, bear with me here, guys. We have the Bracketron iPod. How that? Bracketron iPad mount, heavy duty mount. I did a video on this a while back. Make sure you check out the mount for the uh, tablet. It fits the iPad pretty damn good. And I gotta tell you, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, I used to use a lot of Velcro. Velcro works great. But I've been using this in the truck and suction cups right to the, to the wood grain dashboard there. And I have no problem at all with the giant well not a giant standard size iPad okay standard size iPad all right okay also behind behind here behind here there is an amplifier hooked up to all the mids and highs the JL audio 300 watt four channel amp tucked in behind this piece of uh, top console here okay for the uh, mids and highs, we've got JL Audio five and a quarters up top. Down below, we've got Focal six and a halves components. No, I'm sorry. Uh, three ways. They're not components. Three way here, three way there. Five and a quarter, six and a half. I know what you're all gonna say. Why didn't you uh, get matching speakers? Uh, they didn't have any in stock 
for that particular size, so I had to do what I had to do. COVID has messed everything up. People ordering things, it's just a big mess. But JL Audio, Focal, for the win with the Kenwood head unit, okay? Um, don't mind all this shit here that I got in the front seat. I moved everything kind of around into one location so I could show you the back without it looking completely a hot mess. Okay, as we work our way back, we've got the tar ramps 5K behind the seat. one aught zero gauge. I know you can't really tell, but one aught zero gauge going directly to the amp. 8 gauge speaker wire going back to the speaker. This little thing here is just an amplifier monitor to let me know that the amp is on and if it's clipping or if it goes into protect mode. Over here we have the microwave section. Down here is my clothes. Very nice. I gotta clean everything up still a little from when I was on home time. Up here we have this other cabinet where I have my little toaster oven and some battery chargers for the camera. Um, planning on putting the PS5 on a shelf here when I can freaking get my hands on a PS5 if I ever do. And originally in this truck, the TV bracket was right there. Okay? I don't want the TV down there by my feet. You know, I want it up high. So I took the bracket off. I'm saving the bracket. I'm going to put the TV probably bracket here and have it swing out like this, like I had in my Volvo. Okay. Bed is nicely made. Like always. Well, I don't always make my bed. Shh, don't tell nobody. Down below we have the fun stuff. We have the uh, Sundown Audio X Series 12 version 2. Thing is a beast. If you missed the unboxing video, go check out that video. Have uh, red LEDs on the top of the bed there to shine down onto the sub, all wired up. I'm going to show you how we wired all that up in here in just a second. We have a mirror. Ha! So I can stare at my ugly face. We've got the refrigerator. We've got the freezer. The fridge is pretty big. I like the fact that the fridge is up top and not down below. And it's got this little lock here to keep it from flying open while you're driving. Uh, storage compartment up there. Storage compartment up there. Vent there. Vent there. Door there. Also up here we have real cherry wood cabinets. They're still kind of new, breaking in. Both sides, same deal. As you can see, I got clothes and some rags and stuff in there. But yeah, I don't know if you could tell, but I've got the shiny, the shiny stuff protecting all of the wood. That's why the wood and everything looks really shiny. I don't know if you guys remember this stuff right here. If you've got real wood, this this wood polish. I mean, oh my God! Look at it! Look what it does! Look what it does! I mean, oh, oh my God! When you have real wood, that's right. This Western Star 4900 has real wood. Yeah. So we're waiting on the TV. We're waiting on the PS5. But everything else is pretty much done. Oh, let's talk about the the lights and stuff. Silly me. Let me turn these off, show you what it looks like in the dark. See if I can close these curtains a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Just look at it. Just look at it. That's pretty sick. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody says. These lights are not like the lights I had in in the Volvo, okay? These, as you can see. Are like a neon okay like a neon they have like a clear diffuser over the bulb and it makes a neon look now what I was originally gonna do is I was gonna glue the lights to the bottom here but the glue wasn't sticking and I had a 
I was having a bad day. I don't know if you guys saw the last video where I ranted about Amazon, but yeah, that's uh, that's still today. I'm just filming two videos in one day, but yeah. So I was like, oh, I was like, ah, I was having trouble. So I was like, let me, let me, let me think. What can I do next? And a lot of times when you're installing lights or wires, you can do what's called a tuck job. And what I did was I did a tuck job. I tucked them in, tucked them in, tucked them in, tuck, 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 tucked them in. Tuck, 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 and they're nice and tight, and they won't fall out. For the wiring, 12 volt wiring, positive and negative, very simple. Use the, I used a butt connector and some electrical tape. Ran some extra black and red wire across the top, did a tuck job there. I need to tuck that in a little bit better, actually, but I'm glad you could see it, so you could see where it went. And then I ran it down into a cigarette plug right there. Bam. Same thing for the lights under the bunk. Same thing. Ran some wire, butt, uh, butt connectors. I was gonna say butt plug. Ha! Yeah, butt plug. Mm -hmm. Same thing down there, butt connectors with some ex extra wire, running up the side of the bunk, into there, bam. Very simple, easy way to do it. That way you're not tapping into an existing circuit. I mean, you could do that. I have more of these lights. Comment below. I'm not sure. If I'm, I, I might. I'm probably not. I was thinking about putting another strip of them up here. I was definitely thinking about putting a strip down there by my feet. The, down there by my feet might look really cool, but I'm thinking if I put another strip up here, it'll be too loud. It'll be too too much. I'm trying to keep it tasteful in here. You know what I mean? So comment below. Let me know what you think. Of the lights and the and the system here, let me show you real quick. Let me put on, let me just put on a test tone, so I don't get in trouble with the YouTubes. We'll put on a test tone to show you um, how much air this particular subwoofer moves. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you right off jump. I'll tell you right off jump that this particular sub is tuned to about 32 hertz with the box okay and we're, we're gonna up it at 35 hertz usually is where it really starts kicking out a lot of air anything lower than 30 hertz you get a lot of port noise anybody that's a bass head like myself knows what i'm talking about i'm not going to get into the whole lingo but i'm going to put the camera down here real quick i'm going to put a rag in front of the port near the port to kind of show you exactly what we're talking about see if I can get this set up here. Let me turn this thing like this. Hold on. Hang on. There we go. All right. We're going to take this rag and we're just going to elegantly place it on the floor. And we're going to do a sweep from 60 hertz down to zero. Let's do that one more time. Let's do that one more time. That time it didn't move because it wasn't in front of the port. But I'm gonna hold it up this time. Just to give you a little different. This time we're gonna do 100 down to 20. Yeah, as you can see, that subwoofer is a beast. It's still breaking in, it's still new. You know, we have the 5K amp on it, pushing it with just enough power. Um, once that sub breaks in, it should play a lot lower, play a lot harder, but yeah. Um, let me know what you think. Comment below, hit the like button on your way out. Uh, check out the links in the description box for the merch. I've got two brand new shirts on the uh, Teespring page there, so go check that out. Also, if you want to see these videos early and help support the channel, it's only three bucks a month. Check out the link for the Patreon. Okay? Thanks for watching. See you later. Yeah!
man.